Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Juddle Plays, and welcome to my first LP on Juddle Plays, Spyro the Dragon. Let's start. I've been anticipating this LP for a very long time, and well, you know, let's just start a new game, and let's just do this empty one. Here was my practice file I did a while ago where I got 100%, and this is just another one I was playing not that long ago. I just used this for tests or whatever, so let's just pick that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Already stuttering on the first episode. Let's pick new game and let's go. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. And that is why you don't piss a very big nail rick off, but the adventure begins. So now, yes, that cutscene wasn't really that long, but we're already into the game. So let's actually just start with by showing you the controls. So press X to jump, press X when in there to do a double, not a double jump, but a glide. Then if you press triangle, you can actually, uh, Drop down, squares to charge, circles to flame, if you use the- oh crap. Yeah, my controller really doesn't like using the L2 button that good, because then it gets stuck or whatever, so whatever. That's better. So now let's actually just go and get our first, which is the main collectible, a dragon, which this dragon is named Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Just to say that I will be collecting every single dragon in this game. Well, no duh, because it's 100%. I was trying to say that I'll show the dialogue of every single dragon. Oh, you're not going to get away from me now. I'm going to get your little brethren that's over here, too. I'll just charge right through all y'all, so you know. Just be, like, all gangsta like that. Oh, crap. I have to actually get on this one first, though. Not gonna be using the other crap. That was actually glitchy. Like, I glitched on the thing for some reason. I don't know why, but I glitched on the thing. But okay. So, excuse my very bad platforming at this game. I might be bad, I might be good, but... You know, probably most of the chance I will be bad. It's just, uh... I might exactly be rusty, but I have been playing it for a little bit. So, I might not be exactly rusty. But I'm probably not gonna be a speedrunner at this game. I can definitely tell you that. And now, I, no, we're not going to get that dragon yet, because let's just get some of the stuff around here first. Especially this one guy that we missed the first time, because I guess after a while he comes back in. Ooh, yeah, we actually made that jump the first try. I know in some LPs it just doesn't work, and, huh, need to add a PS2 controller on my list of just controllers I need, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot. These collectibles right here I'm getting right now is actually gems. Gems are the secondary collectible of the game, and you kind of need those for some things, but also, that is an extra life, that's, uh... I wouldn't really call it a collectible, that's just, well, you know, they act like extra lives, you get an extra life from it, so, that's really it, but now, here's another dragon right here, which is, uh, Del Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. I was trying to say this guy right here is Delbin, but, well, let's just stutter on it, but... A cool little thing is that, this is actually used for one of the levels here, which, uh... You want to jump on every single one of these platforms, and after that, you'll see this come up, and... Can I... Oh, can I do this? No, I cannot. Okay, let's just never mind that. Because I'm pretty sure my, uh... L2 button is, like like completely screwed now because I cannot press it at all so don't expect me to use like the that control one I'll probably use the other one but 
Also, if you do press triangle, you can also center the camera behind you, which is also very useful for camera controls, which I'll probably use that because I can't really use the other thing because that L2 buttons that like mess it up there. So yeah, hey. So now I believe there's like what? No, there's two more places we can go because we have right over here, which is where a few other gems are. Oh, I forgot. This is a new thing. Not a new thing, but inventory. Uh, you can just see how many gems, and how many dragons. I just wanted to show you that very quickly. Let's continue. Sorry. I thought if I press triangle, like it would get out, but I guess it won't get out if you press triangle. Okay, that's different. It wasn't to my expectations, but here is the third dragon, Artigus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. As this guy said, we cannot go into this dragon's mouth until we beat one of the levels, or... We didn't say that, but that is what we have to do. We have to beat one of the levels in order to, uh, enter that dragon's mouth. And, one last thing in the artisan's homeworld we can't explore, which is down here. And the last dragon in this area, Thomas. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. I just realized you could probably hear a TV in the background because I, I just randomly heard that. I'm like, oh god, that is loud. And there are no gems over there, so don't go over there, I guess. But we have one of these guys, which... These big guys are only in this part of the game, and one of the only enemies that take, like, more than one hit to kill. Which I find very strange because... Well, like I said, most enemies in this game take, like, one hit to kill. As you've seen, because if I charge and or flame them, well, some enemies you can't charge, some enemies you can't flame. I'll get into that once we, I mean, once it actually gets apparent. Well, well, we'll actually learn that in a few levels at coming up, but now just getting the last few treasure, and I believe if I didn't miss any of them, there should be, well, hit my mic stand, sorry about that if you heard that, but there should be a gem over here. Okay, that's a two. And then going over here. The reason I said over here is because, well, I want. I was kind of making a blind jump because of that L2 button. But, yep. If we look at our inventory, the artisan's home world is actually fully complete. So, we're not going to end this episode off right now because we are not even close to done. We're going to be going in one of these portals, which this one happens to be Stone Hill. So let's go. These portals bring you to the levels of the areas and stuff. And okay, we're on eight minutes, so that's actually not that bad of a time. And, whoa, I just realized that most of the gems are red and green. Okay. But, yeah, Stone Hill is the first level. And we will end up actually doing this whole level in this episode because this level is extremely easy to get th Whoa. I mi almost missed you there. But this level is extremely easy to get through as long as you charge these guys. That's what I mean. Charge them because you can't... Well, I mean, you can flame them if you want, but charging them will make it so it's like a guaranteed hit. It's like one of those guaranteed hits kind of things. And I believe in here is a whole bunch of treasure, I think. Yes, and it's actually one of the other dragons, but... A cool thing about Stone Hill is this is one of the only levels that's, like, free to explore, like, completely. It's a very, like, explore-heavy area, but this is the first dragon in the level, which is Lindar. Weird name. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. He is talking about saving, which in order to save, you want to jump, go to these pedestals, press triangle, and then you can just press save game. Let me wiggle my mouse quickly because my computer screen locked. There we go. Okay, that's good. I scared me for a second. Like, it wasn't going, it wasn't going back, but it's okay. I'll probably change the lock time later. It's just new desktop. It's very weird to, like, see it not do that, but okay. Oh, we almost forgot you over here. How many- wait, we already have 71 gems, okay. Now, I believe- no, we just came out of there. We want to go in here first. Because going in here will actually lead us to the end. Which, going towards the end, we can actually get a key to get to, uh, one of the things. Which, we can knock that out before we even go into one of the other areas. I just do this because it makes it a lot easier, but before we get this dragon, let's just get this five gem right here. And this dragon, which is Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. 
So you might be thinking, oh, uh, where is that key? We have to go down here. We have to actually jump down here. Because yes, you can jump down there. It looks like it's a risky, like it's a risky fall, but you can jump down there. Where there is these breakable crates, which I forgot. These ones you can only charge to get through. And the key! Which these keys, this key, I will show you what this key does once we get there. Do you want to know what this key does? Phaser gem? No, there's not. Do you want to know what this key does? Well, if we go down in this thing right here, and just run over here, get well first get these gems, and go over here, stop this animation because it's boring, and then we get some gems. But first, here's Gavin. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Okay, anyways, after that weird talking from Mr. Me, Juggle Plays, now we can, uh, well, we have to actually go into this place. This one, yes, this one. You really know which ones are which by, like, how the pathway looks, but, yep, just go over here. This way is actually, you really don't even have to go over here because, as you saw, the end level is, like, right next to the thing, and right, like, you can get to the end level thing from that one area, so you really don't have to, like, go there. Which I find weird because, well, the other levels are, like, linear as heck, so... You know, I'll actually try to refrain from swearing in these LPs. I've said this on my old channel before, but... Oh, crap, crap. Again, sorry, L2 thing. I need... No! I accidentally pressed exit the level. I'm stupid. Be right back. But luckily, if you make a retarded move like me, you can automatically come back here, and the gems are actually all, like, back to what they were, so... We don't have to worry. Wait, did we actually get this gem? No, we didn't. You'll know, because enemies that we already got, they'll give us these blue aura things, which... That's actually a good reason to show about that, but... Yep. I, that was kind of stupid on my part, which I didn't get this guy, did I? Oh, I already did, okay. Now, is there any other gems around here, because... This level is a level you want to always check to see if you missed, missed any gems, because there are gems, like, everywhere in this level. Not everywhere, but there are scattered a little bit. It's very, like, I'd say it's kind of a little complicated for a first level, but I'm pretty sure this is the level they mean for you to do first. Thank you for getting the blue gem. Took a while, but last dragon of this area, Gildas. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Yes, we can glide, because he told us we could glide, even though we could glide before. So let's glide over here, which is actually where all the rest of the 200 or so odd gems are, because the gems that in this level aren't really worth that much, so... I'm guessing that the 75 is actually a good amount of gems we have to collect because I don't know if the number of gems, like actual object gems there are, but there's always a different like amount of them. Like, I don't know, I guess they put a number in it to make it like, oh, there looks like there's more, but there's actually not more or something. I don't know, it, it, it might be doing that, but oh, this thing is an egg thief. These guys, you want to flame and whoa, we actually got that guy pretty fast, but that is the secondary collectible. Which is an egg. I'm pretty sure these gems really aren't... Actually, no, the gems aren't secondary. These, those are third. The dragons are primary, and those dragon eggs are secondary. Even though, after the third level, I mean, third main home world in the game, like, the there's no more dragon eggs, so... I don't know if I'd call them primary or not, but... Yep, yeah, now, it's on the long quest of trying to look for gems, because... There's gems in these nooks and crannies right there. And I believe we need a few more. Which, are there in here? No, they're not. One's here, so I need a... F two. I need three more, which I believe... There's a set of trees somewhere around here that has a one gem and a two gem there. Which I believe, hopefully, is... Yep, that's up here, and... That level didn't take that long. So, yep, we have that. So, we could go to the exit level portal, which I'll actually do, but... As you remember, if you just press exit level... You automatically exit- well, crap, I, I thought it was in the second area, we're in the first area, so... Now let's be little good boys and exit the area by going into the return home thing. So yeah! I gotta say, since this is 16 minutes in the recording, that's about it for this episode, let's play Spyro the Dragon. In the next episode, we are going to be going over to... 
this little level over here, which um, let's just run over here. This level, Dark Hollow. So this has been D. Oh crap! This has been Juddle Plays saying see you later and goodbye.